in the kitchen too. So we're going to talk about that. braising. I say it as it is, if it's an insult. It's a good thing. I'm organized too. Mm -hmm. That's good. Okay. okay, let's talk about braising. Okay, so braising is the ultimate comfort food. Yeah. And it is the original slow cooker food. Okay. So uh, before we had these beautiful plug-in machines that do all the work for us while we're at work or sleeping, yeah. we use these guys. Okay. And so braising is anything, anytime you take a food and you brown it a little bit, develop that flavor, mm -hmm. then chuck it in a pot, add some liquid, cover it, Yes. That's the key. And then forget about it for a while. Right. And for a while, we're talking like an hour. If it's meat, more. you could be looking at two, three, four hours. If it's vegetables, less. Got you, it. You, you mean, you know, you don't want to completely obliterate no. your vegetables. Um, but this is the kind of thing that, you know, it bubbles away on the stove. Uh, and then, you know, by the end of it, you've got this tender fall off the bone yes. meat. So things like lamb shanks, short ribs, mm. or pot roast. Right. So pot roast, you don't want to throw in the barbecue and grill it because it's going to be tough as. Yeah. Yeah. But if you slowly let it simmer, it becomes tender and it pulls apart and it's just right. phenomenal. Okay. So much easier to do it in one of these though than one of those. Well, yes, this takes a little bit longer. Yeah. But it that's does. fine because you don't have to pay any attention to it, right? Right. Okay. So what we're gonna do with this pot roast is do something called a Sunday sauce. Okay. And it means that you have on Sunday night you get to have pot roast, and then on Monday night you use all the sauce that was left over and you yeah. chuck it on pasta. Let's do it. So you start off with some bacon or pancetta, which everybody loves. It smells so good. And then, so here's the key with braising: is you have to kind of get some color on there first. Okay. Otherwise, you're just simmering. Right. Braising, you're adding that br. That br means the flavor. Bruh. Yeah. It's okay. Very you stir important. carrot, celery, onion, mm -hmm. uh, a little bit of the old garlic. And this makes a huge amount, so don't be alarmed. Uh, but it's great because it's two meals, two, two meals. And it also freezes beautifully. Let's chuck a bit of sexy tickle in there. Mm -hmm. <laughs> is that what sure you call what, that? Yeah, I don't know what that is, but it's going in. <laughs> Here comes the tomato paste, the whole can of yes. tomato paste, Yeah, which so I, I mentioned to Marilyn Smith, I was like, well, Claire Tansy always uses the whole can. Like, don't you just want to use the whole can? And she said, no, I don't. <laughs> like, okay. Okay, she lives up the street from she me. Did, yeah, you're going to have tonight. a talk with her. <laughs> No, what she does is she freezes, she freezes her extras. So remember, you know, I was talking about how organization. I know, she really goes but the, for here's it. the thing: because I'm uh, there is no organization in my freezer. If I put it in the freezer, I would never find it when I moved again. out of the house. <laughs> right. If, <laughs> if I ever moved Me out of the too. house. So once this is done, we'll just turn him off. So yep. you can see I browned off this beautiful piece of pot roast. Mm -hmm. Now this is an inexpensive cut of meat. You are not looking to spend much more than twenty to twenty-five bucks on this. Okay. Uh, depending on where you live, if you live in Ekalawit, uh, there's just <laughs> you know, let's not even talk about that, that, okay? Yeah. Yeah. Okay, so then all that goes in, and we're going to talk a little bit about all the different uh, pots and pans you can use to braise, because Good. it doesn't have to be anything too fancy. We'll talk about that next time. Okay. Uh, next segment. Can of tomatoes, those are going to break down big time, and then, of course, a little bit of wine, right. which will make everything delightful. Put the lid on this and let it simmer. Okay. Or you transfer the whole thing to the slow cooker and let it simmer. Right. And then it comes out and come, my darling. Look at that. Oh, I forgot the mushrooms. Anyway, the mushrooms go in. Okay, Don't whatever. Don't forget about the mushrooms, everybody. <laughs> They're delicious, too. So then you have this glorious piece of meat. Oh, that okay. looks amazing. And then for Sunday night, you serve it sliced. Yeah. And then look at all this stuff. That's so good. Pasta sauce. So right. good. And then there's little bits of meat in there. Yeah. Arr, so good. Good. Chunky goodness. Yes, but you know, braising isn't just for meat. Right, so I would have never thought to try braising vegetables. I know. Because you just think they're going to come out goopy. Well, and depending on which vegetable you use, they are going to come out goopy. Right. But when you look at a sturdy vegetable like our like old celery. friend celery, right. right, so quite sturdy. Now, regardless, it's still only going to braise for 20 minutes. Okay. But it's a beautiful way to turn this, which, you know, relegated from the vegetable tray, uh, yeah. into this sublime side dish for any kind of a nice. roast or um, just as part of a buffet. It's a really, really beautiful dish. Okay. So again, I'm going to like sear it off a little bit first, a little bit of butter in there, and then the celery goes in. And we left it long because it's quite pretty, you know, yeah. long. Yeah, long. Yeah, why not? And plus it's less work. <laughs> it's less work. Right. But I did, you know what I saved? My leaves. Right, what are you going to use those for? I'm going to use them as a garnish. 
Smart. Because you know I'm not into waste. No. That's my thing. That's actually a big thing with a lot of people. I know. Yeah, this well, year. And it's funny because chefs are really usually quite good at um, yes. not wasting. Because if you work in a restaurant, every single thing that you can make money on, you make money on. That's right. You have to use it. My new favorite thing, chicken broth in a one cup container. Because oh, otherwise, you know, you open smart. the big one liter box and then you get stressed out because it's open and it's in the fridge and you're like, what am I going to do with it? I can't drink it. I can't make a smoothie out of it. Right. Somebody call Claire. Oh no, I am Claire. <laughs> right? Sometimes it makes more sense to pay a little bit more for the small one that you're actually going to use than to waste a big one, right? I know, exactly. <laughs> now, a little bit of lemon, a little bit of zest, and then I'm going to put the juice in as well. And then the a lid's going to go on, and then it braises, and when it comes out, a little bit of butter, and then... Your Chop little garnish. Up. My celery leaves. Very nice. They're actually really, really flavorful and they're fresh. And braised food sometimes can be a bit brown and mm -hmm. not the most beautiful. I guarantee you it's going to be the most tasty though. Oh, very nice.